Right guys, welcome back to another transfer news video here. So earlier today it was reported that Christoph Berra was on his way out. He will not be uh, re-signing with Hearts at the end of the season. Although a guy that we might be signing at the end of the season could be Shea Logan. Uh, Aberdeen's Shea Logan, the right back, because we have just signed him on loan till the end of the season. Very, very strange uh, transfer here. The league's already done. We're out both cups. We've got absolutely nothing to play for. So why would we be getting Shea Logan on loan? For me, this has to be a, a try before you buy deal. I'm assuming that Shea Logan is is done at Aberdeen and at Hearts. I may be trying him out on loan to decide whether or not uh, he is worth offering a contract to it at the end of the season. That's what I'm assuming because it would just make zero sense to, to sign this guy on loan. Uh, alone, so it, would, it just wouldn't be beneficial to Hearts. It, I mean, yeah, I mean, Shea Logan will probably take the game time, but it wouldn't make any sense for uh, Hearts to sign this guy from Aberdeen. So, honestly, I don't know why they've done it, but I can only assume it's for the, uh, you know, option to try and get uh, a permanent deal sorted for next year. So, that is what we're thinking, or at least that is what I'm thinking. Um, also, Shea Logan and Scott Brown, not best of friends, and with uh, Scott Brown confirming that move to Aberdeen, then uh, it doesn't look like uh, Shea Logan wants to be any part of uh, Scott Brown, you know, Aberdeen. So that that looks like, I, I'm, I'm assuming that's the reason, man. Fuck knows. Uh, Logan's contract, like I said, is out of, um, out of uh, not out of order, but, you know, expires at the end of the season in the summer, so... Um, I can't see him playing a game for Hearts. But anyway, Logan said it was something that was brought to me quite quickly and I was more than happy to come. I can get game time and give Hearts a solid right back. For me, I just want to get back playing again. It's been frustrating a year and I'm really looking forward to it. So, you know what? I mean, Shea Logan, I don't think he's a bad player by any means, but I like the Rolls Royce. I like Michael Smith. And I think Michael Smith uh, should be the man at Hearts and I certainly would put my head to the, uh, this guy here, Shea Logan, in the pecking order. So... I mean, I can't say it's a bad signing, but it just doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Uh, Shea Logan went on to say, I want to help the club get the league wrapped up. But mate, you ain't helping nothing. The league's already wrapped up, right? As bad as we've been this season, we ain't going to lose the league, right? We could we could sign Shane Duffy and still win the league. That's how comfortable it is. You know what I mean? That's how much it's in the bank. Uh, anyway, he went on to say, when I play for a football team, be it Aberdeen, Man City, Brentford or Hearts. Holy shit, this guy used to play for Man City. <laughs> it must have been when they were shit. Uh, fans will know that I always give 110%. I guess he doesn't want to give 110% with uh, Scott Brown in the same team. Then he said, I'm fit and raring to go. It's been a frustrating season, so this is a great opportunity for myself and I'm raring to go. Uh, new, Bonds, uh, new Dons boss, Stephen Glass, said Shea has been an integral part of the club for a number of years, but his game time has been limited this season. It doesn't look like, yeah, so it doesn't look like Shea Logan is going to be part of the uh, of the new Aberdeen team. So maybe it'll be a part of our team. Anyway, guys, let us know. A bit of a strange one, signing Shea Logan on loan till the end of the season. Like I said, I can only assume it's a almost a try before you buy sort of deal where we will assess, you know, it's three or four months or whatever, however long it is at the club and then decide whether we want to offer him a contract in the summer. That's the only thing I, I can assume it is. Well, let us know what you think down below about this signing. A bit strange to me. Um, I guess it would be a decent addition to the team, but again, a bit strange. And um, yeah, I, mean, I think there's other areas that I'd rather see us improve on than bringing in another right back, if I'm being perfectly honest. So let us know what you think down below. And that is it. Shea Logan is now a Hearts player. I did not think I'd be making this video today. A bit of a weird one. But anyway, guys, that is it. Uh, Shea Logan's in. Christoph Berra's out. Till next. And Robbie Nielsen still doesn't have a clue what he's doing. And Budge is still, you know, stealing money. So it's all good in the hood. Well, it's not really good, but you know what? We have to, we have to fucking live with it. It's, it's, whatever's happening is happening. You know what I mean? So anyway, guys, let us know. Like I said... Is this a good signing? Is that a bad signing? Or is it just one of those ones that doesn't even matter a shit, really? I'm kind of, that's where I am. I mean, I don't think it's good. I don't think it's bad. It's just the most pointless thing ever, in my opinion. Anyway, that's it, guys. Till next time. Peace.